Hey, what's up guys? So today is day three of the Lay Norns PH3 program. We're going to be hitting a squats, bench, and then a full leg workout. There's, of course, there's gonna be some adjustments to the program just because of things that I can and can't do and what things I do like over things I don't like. And uh, like, on, for instance, uh, one thing it has me doing today is seated uh, leg extension. We don't have the machine here, so I'll probably substitute front squats for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Throughout the whole video, like I always do, I'll talk throughout the whole video so you guys can kind of get where I'm coming from in this program and just kind of talk uh, about the details and everything like that. But right now I'm gonna go jump on the bike, warm up, get my blood going. And then I'm gonna do some mobility work for my, for my legs and my back and chest and stuff like that so I can get all nice and loose. And then I'm gonna be hitting some squats for 77.5% of my one rep max for seven. Same with the bench press and then going on to some uh, different leg exercises. But like I said, I'll continue to talk throughout the video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below telling me if you like this program or not. And check it out for yourself at bodybuilding.com. Layton Orton. Follow him on Instagram and uh, hashtag PH3. But anyways, let's go hit this workout, guys. All right, so hey guys, as you can see, I'm doing a lot of mobility work to start off this workout. The Lay Norn program has some great warm up, warm ups that you have to that are you, you're supposed to do before you do any squats and stuff like that, and I, which I do. But I just go ahead and add some more mobility work just because, like I said in other videos, after having three knee surgeries, um, it's really important for me to really open up my hips and stuff. And I, sent, I have really tight hips, so that's why I really work on my mobility on that stuff. So now you can see me just warming up with 135 and then uh, 185 on the next clip. Um, just, I kind of throw the, threw these in here just so you can see the where I'm coming from, where my warm up is and my mobility and everything like that. Uh, I'm still trying to work on my form. As you can always see in my videos, I'm leaning over a lot. Um, so yeah. And I like to throw on these wrist straps on my working sets. I never really knew why people did this, but I figured I would give it a try. And it takes a lot of pressure off of my wrists, and it feels really good when I do this. So I kind of like that since I don't have a belt. This kind of um, throwing wrist straps on there kind of helps me mentally and physically, since it takes away the pain in my wrists. But as you can see, I'm doing a low bar squat, hoping to continue to progress into a more upright squat over time. But if you see Lay Norton squat and a lot of other powerlifters squat, they do tend to lean over just uh, just a little bit like I am doing right here. But I think my, my form has come a long way. And from right here, you can see my depth is pretty good. I'm getting probably just a few degrees below parallel. So I'm really enjoying that right there. So I'm really happy about all that stuff. Then here, Kaylin actually jumped on this program as well, and she's doing some blood flow occlusion right here with for the triceps, and she's doing cable tricep uh, skull crushers. So that's another thing that this program has in it that I love so much is the blood flow occlusion. Um, this is an old older video, but I just got done doing today doing blood flow occlusion for quads and hamstrings and that was the first time I've ever done anything like that and it was absolutely amazing my after just doing one set of a warm-up set I felt like it was almost a working set because there's so much blood in there and it almost I, when I got done with the whole workout it was just my legs were shaking like they haven't done before but uh, say that for later on so next we go into bench and it's kind of sad, but I'm doing bench. I'm benching just as no more than I. I'm benching more than I did for squats, and that is sad in some sense. But then again, if you think about it, after having so many surgeries, I'm just now really getting back into squatting. So my pressing has never really uh, suffered because even uh, post surgery, I've still been able to do um, 
pressing movements in upper body, but my, my lower body is really lagging. So this is another reason why I wanted to do this program so I can really bring up my lower body uh, to try to catch up with my upper body because my lower body is just pathetic. So I did like, I think it was 72 and a half percent of you one rep max for both bench and squat for seven reps. And then uh, I was supposed to move on to leg extension, but since we don't have the leg extension machine, I just went ahead and did some front squats. I haven't done these in a while. So I'm trying to really relearn my form and get back on it because these are great, great exercises to really focus on those quads. And then here, Kaylin's doing some curls with the blood flow reclusion. And you can buy different things for blood flow reclusion, but blood flow restriction, but uh, we don't want to spend the money. So all we use is some old wrist, wrist wraps that I have and they work perfectly fine. So right here I'm doing some some strict leg deadlifts. I think I was supposed to do some lying, lying leg curls, but I don't have that once again. So yeah. Next we move on to regular uh, calf raises. Great movement. Love these, um, but what I really love is doing the blood flow restriction with one dumbbell on, on my knee, as you'll see right here, and do it like this. It's a pump that I never felt before, or I haven't felt in a very long time in my calf, because it is hard for me to feel the contraction of my calf with all the surgeries, but I absolutely love this workout, guys. This program is awesome. If you haven't, join it, jump on it, and I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned.